a young science whiz, is preparing to take the stage at one of the world's most prestigious universities. The 14-year-old from Markham is working on solutions that could help humans live on distant planets. As Keller Ewan reports, she's presenting her findings at MIT in Boston this weekend. It's about two hours flight to us. Uh, so we Patricia Ray is taking a rare break, butter some more bread, to break some bread with her parents. You can sort of see that most of her day will be spent here. You can see that it's red there. So, oh, like, yeah. it's turned red. Inside this mini science lab in her basement is where the ninth grader feels most at home. I do school, I come home, I do homework, and then I do this, and then my social life goes down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> She's the kid with all the questions. In her quest for answers, Ray has discovered something that may help support future human colonies on Mars. This is um, one of my uh, yeast samples. Ray I'm genetically sure. engineered two proteins from the spruce budworm and the eel pout into yeast. Both are showing potential to survive the harsh atmosphere of Mars, which can dip as low as minus 196 degrees Celsius. Colonists who uh, go to Mars, they're going to need food supplies, they're going to need material supplies, they're going to need clothing, they need all these things. So uh, yeast can be genetically engineered to create food, plastic, and spider silk, which can be turned into clothing. Ray has already won numerous awards for her research, and with guidance from her Alberta-based mentor, scientist Justin Pajera, I found this uh, protein. Um, the young student is continuing to test the yeast samples with hopes of reaching a 95% survival rate. Patricia's project, it, it kind of transcends both, you know, what we're doing here terrestrially on Earth, but then also this really exciting uh, change in, in maybe where humanity is going to be in a decade or two. No parent really thinks their kid's going to be doing this at 14. <laughs> Like, my ultimate dream, like, I, I doubt it's going to happen, but I mean, like, it'd be so cool to, like, be able to work, like, with NASA or SpaceX on this. Ray's dad will be by her side when she presents her findings at the Global Community Bio Summit this weekend at MIT. And her mom, she'll be cheering her on back at home. Just go for it. Reach for your dreams. I really love what I do. I love my job. Kelda Yoon, CBC News, Toronto. Another Canadian science star on the rise.